Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can tell, I have a new hair color. And if you can't already tell by the title of this video, we are gonna go through basically how I went from green hair all the way to yellow hair I'm using all cruelty-free products. Um, and also, I did all this in one day. It took a few hours, don't get me wrong, it took a while, but I did it all by myself at home buying stuff from sally's so yeah if you guys are interested to see how i went from green to yellow hair in a day go ahead and keep on watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit that thousand subscriber threshold and also follow me on instagram where i post so much more content but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video so as you can see this is what we started with i was using the lime crime unicorn hair in sea witch and yeah, as you can see, it's pretty bright still. I went ahead and brushed my hair out first to make sure there were no knots. And then I split my hair into two big sections. And then the first section, I split it in a second part. And this is the Joico Color Intensity Eraser. You're gonna need one scoop and the Pravana Cream Developer, you're gonna need two scoops. So as you can see, I'm even splitting that smaller section into two smaller sections just to make sure we get an even product distribution. And you guys just wanna make sure you're mindful of the regrowth. You don't wanna go too far up because it will bleach your regular hair. So just leave about a half an inch of space because the bleach will expand. And I just went ahead and divided it a little bit more because I thought the strand was a little bit too big. So just make sure you apply that to both sides evenly. And you just wanna make sure you're fully saturating each strand of the hair so the product lifts and doesn't leave any like random spots or anything like that. And just blend it out with your finger and just continue to saturate. And then I went ahead and put a little bit of that color eraser on the foils and the foils will also help you lift the product faster. And you're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process on every strand of hair. Whatever you feel comfortable with, I usually feel comfortable with half inch to an inch thickness of hair. And just make sure you guys are really taking the time to evenly distribute the product because again, it'll kind of leave like blotchy spots if you don't do it evenly. So just make sure you're taking your time when you're applying the actual bleach. Also, please ignore all the ugly faces I'm making in this video because the bleach smelled disgusting and it was burning my eyeballs. So once you're finished, you just want to leave it about maybe 10-15 minutes and then start checking up on the foils you did first. And as you can see, they were pretty blonde by this point. The top part is just what was still processing. So what you're gonna do is you're just kind of waiting. I usually let this sit in for like 20 minutes max. What two packets of the Joico color remover did, like unfortunately I'm gonna have to do one more session, but as you can see, like the bottom is like pretty light, but you can still see like hints of green in there and like some spots are more brassy and this side i just think i washed it out way too early like you can see that on some spots it was lifting and other spots it wasn't so what i'm gonna actually do is go buy two more packets and just lighten mainly this part and a little bit of this side over here too but for the most part it's pretty blonde and then we will deposit color once i have like a nice even <sighs> lift Using the Arctic Fox Cosmic Sunshine and Sunset Orange, what I did is I fully saturated my hair with Cosmic Sunshine first, and then I kind of mix a little bit of Sunset Orange and Cosmic Sunshine and put that more towards the root. I wanted a more mustardy color, so you can see I'm applying the orange and then just kind of blending it out downwards originally i was gonna do a ombre orange to yellow but then that just got a little bit too complicated so i just saturated all the yellow first 
and then with whatever extra product I had I kind of just used it and put it in my roots all right guys so my hair is still a tiny bit wet this is what the colors look like so as you can see I was trying to go for a more ombre orange and yellow color but unfortunately that didn't work out so I ended up kind of mixing both of the colors and this is what I ended up getting. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair really quickly just to kind of see what it looks like fully styled but this is the color we got. This is the other side so as you can see it's pretty vibrant and mind you I did put a little bit of orange in there just to give it like a more mustardy color but yeah so let me go ahead and style this really quickly here is what the hair looks like fully styled i am actually super impressed that i was able to do this all by myself at home again it took me a really long time kitty what are you doing on the table it took me a really long time like this was an entire day process so just make sure if you try to do this at home you have an entire day to dedicate to this transformation <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up also don't forget to follow us on instagram because we post way more stuff on instagram hi kitty oh don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed all right, we'll see you guys Wednesday. Bye.